In today's episode guys, after more tactical tweaks, performances have improved, but can we rise to the top of the table now with only a few games remaining of the season? <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to the channel and the series with Kaiser Slaughter. Now we are edging finally closer to the end of the first season. Apologies, I know I've been a bit lax on the uploads and stuff like that, but we are edging that bit further to the end of the season. Now we have in fact had a good run of results, which we will discuss first and then I'll talk to you about the little tactical tweaks that we've had this um, since the last episode and why the performances have improved. So we start off with a 4 0 win over Rostock. Away from home as well, Spalvis, which you'll see Spalvis featuring heavily in this. And that's one of the main reasons the tactical tweak and why we're doing so well. But Spalvis with a brace, Puru with a goal, and Thorsten Russia with his first goal, I believe, at this point in the season. Which is fantastic. Then we played Zwickau. We won 3 1, a nice 3 1 a win. At home, which was nice. Marvin Puri with a brace and Russia with back to back goals. Very, very nice indeed. Then we did lose in a really monstrous 5 3 game. What an entertaining game. I wish I could have brought this game to you guys live, but unfortunately, that's not the case. But um, the goal scorers for us were Spalvis, Sifki, and Redondo. Beck scoring a hat trick for Magdeburg. On that occasion then we followed up though bounced back nicely with three wins from four puru with a brace yet again and redondo with a goal as well then a disappointing one which surprised me to be honest with you we were one one draw against um, lou beck who were near the bottom of the table spalvis with the goal that equalized just after the start of the second half and we did dominate the game and deserve to win but unfortunately we, we just in front of goal we weren't clinical enough on that occasion but then as you can see again we got a um, we bounced back with a win 2-0 win a clean sheet Tim Reader an unlikely goal scorer um, he's been playing centre back for us and actually doing relatively well as well for us and Marvin Puri yet again our top scorer this season unreal unreal 18 goals from 27 games so far the Kai is fantastic so before we get any further on into the live com and the games today and also the league table tactically we're playing a poacher and a pressure um, pressing forward I believe we were playing an advanced forward and pressing forward last time you were with us so that's been changed um, readers come into the team as the no nonsense centre back performing pretty well um, and I believe they're the centre back system is slightly changed as well we're hitting early crosses which i'm not sure we were in the last episode um we're not playing as wide anymore as well um so we're more compact defensively and i think that's helping things and we're not trying to play out to the wings anymore or anything like that over complicating things we're trying to minimize the instructions as much as we can also we've compacted the defensive line we've pushed higher up defense our defensive line higher up um in the midfield we add all the way up here to much higher we've reduced it down to standard so we're more of a compact unit attacking wise so when they try and play in between the lines of our players um, we can intercept and break up their play and we're also higher up the pitch to attack quickly and score and it seems to be working we're using the offside trap as well um we we'll see we've got nar to use quite a decent ac center back for us to cover when them balls come over the top so the compactness as well as Spalvis being a poacher as well, I think it's really helping us a lot. And as you can see now in the table, we've got six games remaining. We are sitting in fifth place on 51 points, two points behind Cologne in third, and quite a way off Magdeburg and Dresden now. But if we pick, if we pick up points and keep winning the games that we've got the next six games, you never know. We might catch Magdeburg or Dresden. Who knows? But for now, we have a big, big game today against Duisburg in fourth and Uta Untach in the game. <laughs> the episode that I recorded, but it didn't have any audio. We were supposed to be playing these two exact teams. So I am bringing you that today. And it's going to be a monster game to start things off against Duisburg, who are sitting in fourth place. Game day is here. Big, big, big weekend of football. 
in real life as well as for me on this game. United Liverpool tomorrow, big game. Excited for it. Fingers crossed United can get the job done. Um, I'm pretty confident we can actually win actually. At Anfield, our away form has been fantastic. A lot better than our home form this season, so fingers crossed. Right, anyway, we need to focus on what we're doing today. Jack Rolls is a bit tired. Huslick is a bit tired, but I'm going to play him anyway. This is a big game. And we need to have our best team out and a team that's been doing the business for us. So if we win this game, we will leapfrog Duisburg with five games remaining and we've still got to play Cologne as well. So they're in third currently. We've got to play Duisburg obviously today that's in fourth. So we our future is in our hands. If we win the, if we win this game and win the game against Cologne, that pretty much to me guarantees ooh, guarantees us getting that um, playoff spot. You know, we want to get promoted this season. We shouldn't be where we are. We should, with with the budget and the squad we have available and the players, we should be performing or have performed much better this season than we have. But we're picking it up now. We're trying. We, we I think we're finally getting the four four two working a lot better than it was. Creating a lot more chances going going forward. Anyway, I know that and defensively. Being a little bit more solid. Needs a little bit of a tweak that defensively are still not quite happy with the defence. But that might just be the personnel rather than the actual system or how we're defending. Spalvis is on the break here. The poacher who's in form. He's got Puri next to him. Leading goal scorer. Tries to feed Puri but can't do it on this occasion. Rizutu into Russia. That is a formidable partnership down the right hand side. Russia, Puri ends up with the ball. He's free on goal. Yes, tucks it away for goal number 19. Come on. Let's go. Let's go, Marvin Puri. All day, mate. All day. Look at this. Russia. Puri. Boltman makes a poor challenge there and allows Puri just to have a little, little bit of a gap to run into. Fires in from about 10 yards, confidently. Yeah, we'll press, we'll press. Rolls, big pump forward up to Spalvis, he's through. He's through on goal. Oh, tucks it away for his fifth goal of the season. <laughs> Come on. Lucas has been a great addition back to the team now. Finally, we've got him in a system where he seems to be performing. Look at this, that's... Again, a mistake by the defender, but Falvis confidently running the channel, creating the angle, to slot it across the keeper. Keeper stood stationary. And there we go, actually. Ingolstadt, a surprise there, is actually creeping in. Creeping into four flights. I didn't realise they were that close behind us, but... Need to just make sure we get the three points here. Not do anything too stupid. Ten minutes, more or less. Or we blow for half time. Russia, can he feed anyone? He does. Feeds in Puri at the angle. Gets the shot off. Russia comes in for the follow-up. The rebound. The poacher's instinct. Torsten Russia, sixth goal of the season. I think I believe that's his third goal for the club. He's a good little player. I'm really pleased with him and Rizzuto and Russia have been great signings, really, for the money they've cost and the ability they have. Great bargains, bargains. 100%. Austin, Russia. We'll make this substitution for Huslick. Um, in the second half, we might as well see as we're winning 3 0. Outstretched arms, yep. Um, tactics. Reader, where is he? Uh, 
Hercher. Sorry. Not Reader, Hercher. Yep. Go for that. We'll go for that. Even though Hercher's not really. He's pretty garbage. I, 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 I want to get rid of him, to be honest. His performances have been woeful for the most part. This season, not someone I want to take forward. Nicholas Sessa on for Shifke. Why not? 3 0 up. Get some game time for the uh, players on the bench. Here we go. Let play. Redondo will save you as well. The Parker will go for the triple sub. Oh, penalty! Penalty! Spalvis tucks it away! I, don't even, I didn't even see that there was a, a problem with that challenge <laughs> that was made, but. We'll take that. 4-0. 4-0 against Duisburg. We're having a really solid season. Away from home as well. This tactic is really, really causing teams a lot of a lot of problems because they're playing so high up the pitch, but then quite compact. Closing the distance between the lines is making it's making it hard for teams to get out, to play out. If you play the long ball over, we're playing it offside trap, and we've got pace with Nati. And if they're trying to pass it out in between the lines of our players, you know, we press and get tight to them, and make the challenge and make you know interceptions. So when I actually thought about it logically, it made sense to play this. The poacher was a bit of a punt because I, I, I was just like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep changing the. Um, I knew Puri's position has been performing even when we had an advance forward next to him but I was like I'm going to change all the positions till I get the one that is perfectly suited to, uh, to work with the pressing forward and first 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 go poacher Alves boom green partnership with Puri looks like it's game reader Rasha Still on the ball. Looks like ball number five. I can smell it. Sessa rolls. Rolls! Come on, Jack rolls as well. Kind of gone under under the radar a little bit, signing wise from Tottenham. Tottenham midfielder, but solid player, solid player, solid box to box. No complaints. Can hit one as well, apparently. Boom. Great. That's a great strike. That's a great strike. Hit it early, hit it with power and accuracy. It was always going to be a winner, and there you go, 5 0 in the end. What dominant, dominant win against the team. Again, like I said, had a very good season and is a difficult team to beat. So, 5 0 result will give us a massive confidence now towards the end of the season, as you can see on screen there. We're still sitting in fifth, though, because I didn't realise England's that were that close behind us. Um. With all things square now with five games remaining, we are in fact five points behind Cologne, but we do actually in fact play them in a few games time. So we've got that to look forward to. But I think we've got an outside shot. It'll be a shame if we don't hit playoffs. If we don't get promoted, it will be a disappointing um, season. Just because that was my main goal at the start of the season and chopping and changing the tactic. And trying to get the tactic <laughs> right is not not helped, I suppose. But we're there now, and I think we've got a good tactic that works with this set of players. Anyway, I've waffled on a little bit too much right now, and we should move and progress on to the next game, which is against Untahaching. So, guys, there's something that I forgot to tell you, which I should have told you at the start of the episode. And we've had our first youth intake at Kaiser Slotin and would you believe we've actually had a really good we've had a decent youth intake actually but specifically a really good player and as you can see scrolling down here <laughs> it's um, the regen here Her Her Herman Matondo look how good he is at 16 years old his stance here look at his polygon his polygon here we compare him with Redondo just to give you an idea like, he's not that far off, really. I know Redondo's got ridiculous pace, but he looks really developed for 16. 
two star, he's five star current ability, he's going to be a superstar for us down the line. I'm training him currently to play as a um, midfield left winger, you know, playing the role as Matondo, uh, as Redondo does, excuse me. So yeah, really, really pleased with him, we'll, we'll kind of keep an eye on his development over the next coming seasons because I'm sure he's going to get first team football down the line when he develops a little bit more. Um, too slick, you're gonna, gonna jug. But Sikinja. Alright, uh, yeah, go on him. Go on him. Sikinja, he's not bad, he's not a bad player. Young player. We'll give, we'll give, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. There's a couple of players that are getting a little bit jaded. They played a lot of games, a lot of football this season. So I suppose that is a fair, a fair point to kind of drop a couple of players, rest them. We are at home as well against Unterhatchen, so fingers crossed we can get the job done. Although at the start of the staff we're uh, not getting up to much. It would seem. Which is a little bit concerning. Ooh. As we've been so good at highlight finally. 33 minutes in. Oh no, no. Yes, come on. Come on. Switch on boys. We need to win every game now till the end of the season. That is the utmost importance. Per Parker, sorry. Ah, Parker. Parker, Parker, Parker. And now Gudra's in. Yes, come on. Come on. That is a gift that he's missed that. We can't, we cannot be giving away cheap opportunities like this. Right, Russia, you coming on? Reader. Making them two subs and hopefully, hopefully that was get us, that will get us going again. Having those two back in the team. Shevsky, come on. What? To be fair, I keep forgetting about the signings we made. We've done some really good business, man. Bereshevsky, again, experienced goalkeeper. Doing wonders for us. This is this is looking a bit bit dire for us here, but we look like we might be able to get a break on here, Spalvis. Puri, Puri, the goal scoring machine, oh, oh no, come on, Russia, to the centre, can't find anyone, the Kinja, Nice, nice, nice. Oh, no, Russia, why are you just punting it there? There's no need. You had time. Look around. <laughs> Look at the options available to you. Books. Come on, Hurtcha. Who's high? Who's high? I'm not sure which way this is going to go highlight wise. Come on. No, 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 no. Oh my god. 
god. <sighs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Hassan Holt, Hassan Holt all there. Henry off the wing. Bang. Flapped it. We've not been out of the races at all today. Struggled. Quite a lot. <laughs> We've been better in the second half, like, don't get me wrong, but... A disappointing goal to concede. Esmel, Puri. Puri chips! Yes! Yes! Come on! Fires us back in! What a chip that was! I thought you'd just... I thought you'd just... It was gonna creep over the top of the crossbar, but yes! It drops in for us! Come on! Goal number 20 as well. Goal number 20 for him. The great, great figure to hit as a striker, 20 goals a season. That's what you want to see from your, from your main striker. Come on, come on. And the tide turn here, can we get a foothold in the game now? Who is in? Yes, come on! Let's go! Let's go, come on! Marvin Puri delivers, <laughs> delivers never in doubt when that ball came over there. Dickinger, the replacement, the rolls, boom, clips one. Defender misjudges it, Puri's in behind, it's never in doubt. Come on, let's go. Now I've got to think about game management. Oh, my God. Ooh. Come on, do not, do not fluff this up now. Defend, do not cave, do not cave. We've done so well to get back into this game. No. I knew it, I knew it. Why, why, fucking hell. Shit. Game's over, man. Game is over. Ah, <sighs> that is a kick in the nuts. That's a disappointing one, man. I can't even lie. That's disappointing. We don't need to see the replay. I knew it was offside. That's why I didn't even react. A 2-2 draw after doing so well to get back into the game after a poor first, first half. Anyway, specifically, we did so well to get back into that and then just give it away. We've just gifted him. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Uh that puts it in real doubt now. Seven points behind Cologne in third. We've got to, we've got to make up some ground now, <laughs> and hope that um, teams around us drop points. That's all I can say on that matter. Disappointing, real disappointing. Send the assistant. Yeah, I'm furious. Hurt you, mate. Very furious. There we are in fifth place, sitting pretty. We've drawn too many games this season, 13. That's what's killed us, I think. That's what's killed us off, but we can still, you know, we've got to still be relatively positive for the end of the season. So we're going to play these two games off screen and then we will be back for the season finale where, fingers crossed, we will be battling out for that third place playoff <laughs> position. I hope so anyway, you know. If we, if we let this slip, it'll be very, very disappointing. 
but on that note that does conclude today's video guys so if you have enjoyed it i really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and like as well that would be much appreciated i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i shall see you in the next one cheers bye, -bye.